before the break, Paul got ready and geared up to hit the track for the first practice run of the day. He's given the green flag and it's time to open her up. All right, we've done our first uh, first hot laps out there. I didn't time time it or anything like that, but we've just sort of gone around, sort of learned the track a little bit. Now I'm just going over the car and checking that the tyre pressures are what they want. I want them to be because we're suffering from a little bit of understeer, so I'm letting them down a bit. These are a high performance type tyre, so we're going to uh, let them down a bit. Go, I'm got to, still got to check the backs. They were up at about 38, and I'm bringing them down a little bit. So I normally check them cold, but I didn't quite have enough time. So we're going to go out again uh, soon, hopefully, and get another few hot laps in and see, see how it's going. And then we're going to have a few uh, um, customers and uh, friends come in the car and do a few cruises around the track. Paul goes over his tyre pressure when the skid pan kicks off, and Adam gets his HSV Club Sport ready for action. Skid pan causing a scene. Lunch served and it's time to hit the track once more. Owns a GTE and GTR. The GTE we took to Hot Tuna last year and got the fastest uh, Ford ever tested by Motor Magazine. Today he's driving our GT and it's my wife's car, so he's going to uh, wring the neck out of that. <laughs> hopefully got, not break anything. Hopefully not break it, but we've got his car in bits. So I'm good at breaking stuff. Yeah, he's good at breaking stuff. Don't break this today, Phil. Tell <laughs> us about your cars, Phil. Uh, yeah, well, we've got a 2010 GTE, highly modified, as you said. Yeah, took it to Hot Hot Tuna last year and was the fastest Aussie car motor I've ever tested, did 11.1, which is uh, pretty good going for... 11.5. Eh? 11.5. 11.1, at Hot Tuna. 11.5. <laughs> well, yeah, it's 11.5. Yeah, also got a 2010 Nissan GDR that's been tweaked a little bit as well. Awesome for track days. Um, yeah, so got best of both worlds. Got the high-powered rear-wheel drive and the high-powered all-wheel drive. So, why do you come along to days like this, Phil? Um, well, for me, I guess it's all about enjoying the car. You know, you, you modify your car, you, you've got to be able to enjoy it. And, you know, you can't legally do that on the street. So for me, it's about doing as many of these days as I can um, so that you can, you know, drive the car to its full potential. Um, and like I said, you can't do that on the street. So coming to days like this is the opportunity to, to drive your cars hard. The other thing is, too, you meet a lot of nice people at these things. You know, people that are like-minded, even though, like, today's Ford versus Holden, a lot of nice cars here and you know you get to chat to the Holden guys and 
and see what all the other Ford guys are doing as well. It's, uh, Even though it's he, a good he bleeds, he bleeds blue, this guy. <laughs> That's right. I'm, I, I said, I'm a Ford man. but yeah, I couldn't get him into Holden. But I, anyway. I, 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 yeah, I still like the Holdens, you know. I appreciate, uh, appreciate other makes and models as well. I'm like, I never thought I'd bloody get into a Nissan either, but got the GDR now, and it, it's a good thing. Yeah. It is a good thing. It's yeah. a nice car. Holden Ford grudge match. Are you going to beat me or what? I don't think so. You got more power, man. Come on, man. No, nah, look, the, the, Holden, the Holdens are a good thing. And like you've always said, it, it puts the power to the ground probably a lot better. Um, yeah, I, I, I won't run a faster time than you today. Come on. I'm, I'm, won't happen. I've given you free reign. I said, you have a go. <laughs> yeah. I reckon Holden, he's going to have a go. I, he, 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 I'll have a go, is, but yeah, I, I can't see myself yeah. going as quick as you. Won't happen. You haven't seen this guy in a, in a go-kart. He, he's an absolute, <laughs> and a jumpsuit, absolute demon. <laughs> so I can tell you, once he gets behind the wheel, <laughs> the red mist comes on and, uh, you know, this meek and mild man that checked the grin <laughs> changes completely. Phil hits the track for his practice round and everyone's ready to start working the clock. Pulls up first with his GDS and makes great time, averaging around the 1 minute 8 second mark. Adam's up next in his 2011 Club Sport and starting to get a feel for the track with an average 1 minute 16 on the clock. Phil's at the course next in the Elite FPV GT and has given Paul a run for his money with an average 108 for this first round of time trials. While everyone's back sweet tuning their rides for the next time session, there are a few casualties in the wake. Clutches and gearboxes fell victim to the track and the tow truck guys were making an absolute killing today. Joel went to school with the Bogan, Steve-O, and uh, he's become a good customer of ours. He's got a Malu Ute, which is here somewhere today, but we've just come out to watch today, so uh, he's, uh, he's, he's come in for a chat and uh, we'll just talk about your car. Yep. Yeah, uh, what have we done for your car? Um, pretty much we've done the full exhaust system, we've done an OTR, um, a mathless tune, and we've got in a, a small cam at the moment. It's probably producing about 300 and I think it's about 325 kilowatts, something at the wheels now. So yeah, pretty healthy? Pretty nicely, nice little meaty sound to it and good performance through mid-range and then up in tight, up, up into the high range as well. Yeah. And we've also installed a uh, heavy duty clutch just to help um, pretty much get all that down to the ground. Because Joel's uh, like me, drives it you know, quite sedately and uh, do you denote know, the note of sarcasm there? <laughs> uh, anyway, we, uh, we, we both drive similar, similar style and uh, we'd recommend that we put a clutch in it because uh, actually when we first tuned it, I think the, the original one died, was that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just couldn't um, could exactly handle, um, as we say, our subtle driving style. <laughs> Gene's brought his GT out here. His uh, GT's been modified by Elite Automotive. Tell us what we've done to it, Gene. Um, all the mods, blue power, cold air induction, full uh, X4 stainless steel, uh, two and a half inch from the headers to the quads at the back. Um, pulley kit, flash tune, and it makes 275 rear wheel kilowatts. Yep, so, yep. so it's had, pretty healthy. I had the work done probably about, what, two years ago now? It's been quite two some years time. and it never misses a beat and I'm always flogging it. It's my daily driver, so just can't argue with it. Enjoying the skid pan, I see. Yeah, just love it. Like, I love the skid pan more than the actual race around the track, actually. More wide open throttle after the break. 